Nick watched her safely enter her loft and waited for the light to click on. The low purr of the BMW was the only sound to break the silence. His annoyance at her blunt admission bothered him. What did he care why she wanted the money? It was a perfect motivation to get them both through the next year with no damage. He needed to keep his distance. Her parents had caused a dangerous longing to bubble up from deep inside. He'd quickly squashed the emotion, but the idea that he still retained some sick ray of hope for a normal family pissed him off. Maybe it was the way she looked tonight. She smiled so easily, her lips full and relaxed. He'd wanted to dip his head and taste what lay beneath those ruby bee-stung lips, wanted to slip his tongue deep inside and tempt her to play. The snug material of her jeans showed off the curve of her buttocks and swing of her hips. A hot pink button-down shirt seemed conservative enough until she leaned forward and Nick caught a glimpse of pale rose lace cupping her full breasts. The image burned through his mind and wreaked havoc with his concentration. He'd spent most of the evening trying to get her to bend down so he could sneak a peek, just like a horny teenager. The light bulb kicked on and he roared away from the curb. Temper bit at him like a moody pit bull. She bothered him in a deep, gutted way. So did her family. He remembered how loving her mother had been, remembered the guilt when he'd wished his own mother would disappear and leave him with Maria Mackenzie, remembered the old pain of being out of control in a world not meant for children to be alone in, remembered things he'd vowed to never unearth. Marriage. Children. Connections only caused a ripping pain no one deserved. He had erected walls so Alexa wouldn't spot any moments of weakness. If she suspected he desired her in any way, the rules would change. He hadn't intended for this siren of a woman to have any power over him. Until the kiss. Nick muttered a foul curse. He remembered how her breath came in choppy gasps and her eyes snapped. That damn shirt finally gaped open enough for him to spot ripe flesh encased in pink lace. He'd been ready to push her away, and then she'd grabbed him at her mother's call. Wasn't his fault he gave in to instinct to save their ruse until her hot, wet mouth had opened under his, until her sweet taste swamped his senses, and the maddening sense of vanilla and spice made him wild, no prisoners taken, demanding, punishing, passionate. He was so screwed, and not in a good way. But she'd never know. He had made sure to screen his face to a nothing blankness, though his jutting erections screamed he was a liar. Didn't matter. Nick refused to break the rules. Alexa was a woman who lived in the light and would never be happy with the deal he'd made himself when he was a child. One year was enough. He hoped he emerged in one piece.